coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. EASA certifies the Pipistrel Valus Electro. Airflow is developing an e-stole aircraft. And the National Air Modeling Championships will proceed as planned. Happy Friday and welcome to the show. I'm Sophie Herlock. The Pipistrel Valus Electro has been certified by EASA. This is the first type certification worldwide of a fully electric aircraft, as well as a major milestone in the quest for environmentally sustainable aviation. The Valus Electro is a two-seater aircraft intended primarily for pilot training. The aircraft is powered by the first certified electrical engine, the E811-268 MVLC. Certified by EASA for Pipistrel back on May 18th, the certification completed in less than three years was only possible due to close cooperation between Pipistrel and EASA, with the common goal of ensuring the aircraft met the high standard of safety needed for certification. Information learned from the project will help support future certification of electrically powered engines and aircraft. We'll be right back with Around the Patch. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Swift Fuels proudly introduces the Forever Avgas STC. One simple upfront purchase entitles the Forever STC certificate holder to receive all current and future Avgas STCs that the FAA issues to Swift Fuels. The best part? It's priced today at only $100, and the prepaid certificate never expires. Get your Forever Avgas STC today at swiftfuelsavgas.com. Welcome back. It's time for today's trip around the patch. Robinson Helicopter is now offering shade and avionics, fuel flow meter on new R66s, equipped with GTN 6XX or 750 GPS navigators. The fuel flow meter provides real-time fuel flow data to the GTN, which in turn displays the fuel consumption rate along with the fuel range rings on a moving map. The installation adds approximately 2 pounds to the aircraft's empty weight and lists for $6,800. The 2020 DeLand Sport Aviation Showcase still has the green light to proceed on November 12th through the 14th and may just help the sport aviation industry finish the year on a high note after months of cancellations and economic losses. Jaina Phillip, boss of the showcase, stated, This is going to be first and foremost a safe event. And when I say safe, I mean in terms of a healthy environment, good facilities, carefully planned flying operations, and ground operations. Another 17 Cessna piston engine aircraft have been purchased by the Civil Air Patrol. The aircraft are joining a fleet of nearly 550 Cessna aircraft currently owned and operated by the CAP. In addition to this contract, the CAP ordered 19 aircraft and deliveries of those have begun, with two turbostationary HD pistons already delivered. The V-22 team recently delivered its 400th aircraft to the U.S. Air Force Special Operations Command. The first production V-22 was delivered on May 24th of 1999, and today deliveries occur under the multi-year Procurement 3 contract, valued at $5 billion. The contract runs through 2024 and includes variants for the Marines, Air Force, and Navy, as well as the first international customer, Japan. We'll be right back with the rest of the news. Affordable and economical, Pipistrol is proud to present the Alpha Trainer. Offering excellent fuel efficiency and a durable composite design, the Alpha Trainer can be operated from virtually anywhere. Whether you're a first-time aircraft owner, assembling a fleet, or running a flight school, the Light Sport Alpha Trainer from Pipistrol is a dynamic option. Learn more about what the Pipistrol Alpha Trainer can do for you at pipistrol-usa.com. Like most of you, we're still working from home. We miss being around pilots. 
But the most important thing right now is to mitigate your risks and use this time productively while we all get through this. Folks, King Schools is open and we're 100% operational. We're making sure that your courses work and are available for you 24-7. We look forward to the time when we can see you again at the airport. Airflow is developing their first electric short takeoff and landing aircraft designed for middle mile logistics. The company's aerial logistics network can move short haul cargo quickly and cost effectively over traffic by utilizing the unused airspace around cities. Five former Airbus Fahana team members started Airflow when they determined e stole aircraft could address the urban air mobility market for one-third the operating cost of eVTOL aircraft, since e stole aircraft can be certified under standard Part 23 regulations. Airflow's e stole aircraft requires less than 150 feet to take off and land, using a 300-foot runway, about the length of three helipads next to each other. Airflow's first e stole aircraft includes an electric propulsion system, single pilot operations, and the ability to carry 500 pounds of cargo. This aircraft is a relatively simple fixed-wing aircraft, which dramatically reduces development and certification risk when compared with more complex aircraft. After careful deliberation, the AMA Executive Council has agreed to not cancel the 2020 outdoor NATS. This decision is aligned with state and federal guidelines for events concerning COVID-19. The 2020 AMA NATS will take place at the International Aero Modeling Center in Muncie, Indiana. Events start next month with RC Scale Aerobatics July 12th through the 15th and end in August with RC Helicopters on the 2nd through the 5th. Additional safety measures will be in place to protect AMA members, staff, and community. NATS participants and visitors to the International Air Modeling Center will have limited access to AMA facilities and should anticipate a scaled-back NATS experience. For more information or to register for the event, head over to nats.modelaircraft.org. And that wraps up our week, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and to check us out on Facebook and on Twitter. Head over to aero-news.net this weekend if you want to stay up to date on the latest aviation and aerospace news. I'll see all of you right back here Monday.